This is Dr. Michael Hughes. Let me introduce you to the dental operating microscope. The microscope is suspended above the patient and has a beautiful light source, LED, that shines directly through the line of sight and also six steps of magnification ranging from 2.5x up to 22x. All dentists should be using some kind of magnification. The ones who do are using dental loops that have a magnification of 2.5x to 3.5x. In my opinion, that's not nearly enough. Let me give you an example here. A dime is about 20% larger than our largest molar. And this is a view at 2.5x like you would see through loops. If the person is using three and a half loops, you would get a slightly bigger size, but I actually don't start using the microscope except at five and a half x. So here is an image of the dime at five and a half x through the microscope. When I'm doing most of my work, I'm rotating up to nine x, and at nine x you can see that accuracy becomes much more attainable. When I'm finishing margins of crowns and finishing polishing restorations, I jump it up to 14x. At this level, you can definitely see things that nobody else can see, and you can get a much, much more accurate finish. At 22x, I am usually looking for root canals that are tricky to find or doing fine tuning of existing stuff. Let me show you a few examples here of the scope. There's a monitor above the patient. That was at 2.5x. This is 3.5x. This is 5.5x. This is 9x. This is 14x. And there's a monitor above the patient. Should I want to show the patient something, they can also see what I'm looking at. And this is 22x. So let me show you a few examples of why I use the microscope. Here is an individual with a crown on their front tooth and looking in the mirror at the back of the root you can notice some decay starting to destroy the root up above the crown. Using micro air abrasion I can clean this root surface without using a drill very conservatively. I can bond it and fill it using a permanent flowable restoration. And in the end, I have repaired this root surface without using a drill, minimally invasive, and now this crown will have many more years of use without having to be replaced. And there's another situation here where looking at a tooth with a very poorly fit crown. Now this crown was supposed to fit up there, but the accuracy obviously wasn't done. So this is not the same tooth, but if you can prepare the margins of the preparation for a tooth at 9x or in this situation at 14x, you're going to get a much, much more accurate fit. It's going to feel better, it's going to fit better, and it's going to last longer. Now to capture that in an impression, you will get a very, very wonderful fitting crown. It'll feel very natural. Now if you're looking at a tooth at two and a half x, it's nowhere near this size and you would never notice this crack running deep inside the tooth. Now this tooth obviously has more needs than just a simple filling. This tooth had its neighbor extracted and an implant placed by a periodontist using loops. The periodontist never saw the decay and the fracture reaching underneath this crown. The periodontist did not have enough magnification. World-renowned neurosurgeon Peter Janetta introduced the microscope to neurosurgery years ago and we should all be very thankful that he did. He is a proud supporter of the Academy of Microscope Enhanced Dentistry as well. I hope this helps you to better manage your dental health care and I suggest you do little homework and find a dentist in your area that uses the microscope for their dental work. Thank you.